My initial connection is with the Netvana 3140 router. I have a DB9 straight through serial cable connected from my laptop's COM port and the Netvana 3140 router. We'll just press enter to get started. We'll see that we're in the basic mode. You know where you're at by the prompt. When you see that greater than symbol, that tells you basic mode. Not a lot you can do here. If we do a question mark, we'll see the commands that are available in this mode. If we do a show space question mark, you see the options that are available to a command. In this case, the options available to the show command. I'll just do a show version here. Of course, when we do a show version, one thing we see at the very top is what version you're running. Other useful information is your platform. You know, what product are you actually in? The system uptime, this is useful for troubleshooting. If something went down in the network, was it this product or another product? But normally we're going straight to the enable mode. So I'll type enable, the default password is password. Again, we know where we're at based on the prompt. Here we see the number sign, so that tells us we're in the enable mode. If we do a question mark, we'll see all the commands that are available in the enable mode. If we enter show space question mark, we'll see there's more show commands available in the enable mode. So let's do a few show commands. First one being show flash. Remember flash is your non-volatile memory. Whatever is in flash you don't lose during a power cycle. So we can see we've got our biz file, that's our actual compressed operating system. To the left you see the size of that file. We have startup config. This is a file that's read line by line at boot up. At any time, you can create backups of files in Flash. So if I want to create a backup of startup config, for example, I can just say copy startup config to maybe I'll call it factory. Factory default. We're going to do a show Flash. We'll say I now have a backup of my startup config in Flash. If you want to see that file, you can say show file and then the name of the file. I'll just hit the escape key to stop that. We do a show flash again. If you no longer need that backup, you can erase it. So just erase and then the name of the file. Now let's look at the default running config and I'm just going to point out a few things here. So we'll do a show run. Of course the default password is password. No, there's a banner that displays when you log in. There's a DHP pool configured by default, giving out IP addresses from the 101010 10 network. Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 has an IP address of 10.10.10.1 .10 configured on it, and it's activated or no shut. And then all other router interfaces are shut down. Near the bottom, we can see the graphical user interface is enabled. That's the HTTP server and secure server, or you know, HTTPS. And we can see the default Telnet password is password also. Now let's make a couple changes. So in order to make changes, first we have to have privileges. So we're in the enable mode. That's a number sign here. We're going to go to global config. So we'll do a configure terminal. Remember you can abbreviate it. So con t. Again, I know where I'm at by the prompts. Do a question mark. We'll see the commands that are available. First thing I want to do is I want to change the router's name or host name. So we'll just enter the host name command and then whatever you want to call this router. So we'll call this the Huntsville. Then I have 3140. The other thing I want to do is I want to change the enable password. So we'll do an enable password and we'll change the enable password to Adran. Now let's look at our running config. If I type in do show run. Remember the do command allows me to do enable mode commands from any configuration mode. So if I say do show run, we'll see the changes have taken effect in the running config. Let me hit escape. But if I do a do show start, do show start, notice the changes haven't taken effect yet, have they? So I always have to remember to save when we're done. 
I'm going to exit out of the global configuration mode and to save it's the copy running config to startup config and again you can abbreviate that so now if we do a show start we can see that our configuration has been saved as startup config file when finished you can exit out of the Atran operating system